If you're one of my students or perhaps you've been watching some of my recent videos you'll be aware that I mostly use a Picket 3 to program the PIC 16F84A microcontroller, a fairly old 8-bit microcontroller, or the PIC 16F88 microcontroller. And uh, yes, yeah, so we've got some of these Picket 3s in the classroom. We've also got a couple of these Picket 4s, which now, um, at the start of term, we should be able to use those now, because I've figured those out. But we need a few more, so I bit the bullet and ordered last Friday, it's now only Monday, ordered last Friday, a clone off eBay and it came very very quickly and what I'm going to be doing in this video now is have a very quick look at it and uh, simply see if it works, see if it programs. So I'm going to guess the USB cable works, I'm not going to test that. And so there's a copy. By the way, uh, this Picket 3 is an original Picket 4. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any clones of those, so that's original as well. Uh, there's, yeah, that. It's all right. Um, don't need it anyway. Um, but it's a female-to-female -female connector, and they've stuck some header pins in as well. Don't know why they did that, why they couldn't have just used male-to-male. Um, -male. But anyway, uh, probably won't use that. The Picket going to say the Picket 3 is not really a Picket, is it? It's a clone of it, although they've called it a Picket 3. And you'll notice, get rid of that one. Uh, so this is the original, this is a microchip. Uh, this isn't branded microchip, so they've not tried to fake that, but they have called it a Picket 3. Uh, trademark even. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not. Uh, I paid um, £12 something, let's just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so that's what I bought. £12.65 included in delivery. And as I say, the delivery was incredibly quick, right before Christmas as well. So, um, yeah, pretty pleased with that. Uh, very, very fast delivery. Um, feedback looks good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've had a look at the seller and uh, the seller's feedback and they get quite a bit of negative feedback but not on this product so and there's loads of sellers on eBay so I'm not recommending any particular seller uh, all I will say is uh, whether this thing works or not and haven't tried it genuinely haven't tried it yet um, so if we have a quick look at these um, you know in format they look very similar in size and everything uh, same female header on there pin one is marked with a triangle uh, they've both got a single tactile button and they've got the three LEDs, I, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just going to work. So uh, what I will do, I will click record so I can start recording my uh, computer screen as well. So let's uh, do that. And uh, hopefully uh, this is going to work. So let me show you the setup. So I've got a PIC 16F88 controller there. We'll go for the original one first of all just to confirm the circuit works okay. And I'm just going to do a download. Oh, better turn the power on to the board. Okay, there's my power on indicator. And I click download. And my program is going to blink that LED. And it's downloading program verify complete. Okay, so remember this is with the original um, Picket 3, and so my program's loaded. Okay, so now I'm going to do an arrays. Is it going to erase? Erasing, array successful, and it stopped. Okay, so as I would expect, my original Picket 3 works, no problem. Let's try this thing then. Uh, these, by the way, the original ones, I'm not sure the exact price. Uh, they no longer make these, but I think when I bought them, I bought one personally myself, and then I bought several for, for the school. I think I was paying about 35, 40 pounds, something like that. Okay. Um, I think that's a similar price for the Picket 4s, although I'm not absolutely sure. Um, but only the Picket 4s are available now. Anyway, so let's take the, the clone now, this time. Oh, it lights up. It's, uh, 
plug that in. And let's go into the uh, setup. And it's got a serial number. Okay, so it has uh, looks like it's detected the picket three or the the fake or the clone. Uh, let's uh, just click on OK there, and let's see if we can do a download. No complaints from it so far. It's now downloading new firmware. Okay, so that's normal. So the first time you program a microcontroller, I believe it actually has to download the firmware onto the pick kit. Uh, but then if you don't um, program a different microcontroller, if you keep on programming the same one, you know, pick 16 f 88 or whatever it is, it doesn't have to keep on downloading that firmware. Uh, okay, so looks okay so far. Download and bootloader, bootload download completed, program and download, downloading RS, whatever that is, RS download complete, program and download. I mean, I don't know what all those things mean, but it looks promising so far. It's not said it's failed anywhere. And we just wait. Oh, hang on. It would help if I turned on the power, wouldn't it, of course? There we go. See if it recovers from that. I didn't have my circuit powered up. <laughs> Might have to cancel that and start it again. Now, normally speaking, I think that when I've uh, done that before and I've forgot to, uh, forgotten to power up my circuit uh, containing the PIC 16F88, um, it's the PIC it seems to have waited, um, and then um, when it's turned on, then, then it programs. Okay, the following memory area will be programmed. Okay, start address zero, that looks good. End address um, hexadecimal 27, program verify complete. Okay, that's it. Look at that, it works. Even though I messed it up not turning the power on for my circuit initially. Okay, so that was, that was successful. So let's now uh, try an erase. And then I'll try reprogramming it again, just in case. Okay, erasing array successful. Okay, remember, this is all with the uh, cheapo clone. And let's uh, download again. Hopefully it will be quicker this time. At least my circuit's switched on. Okay, that's quick. Uh, it's just, just the same speed as uh, with my original. So uh, bearing in mind that, uh, well, you can't get these Picket 3s anymore. But you can get these, and these are costing £12.65, wasn't it? Um, I consider that a big success. Now, whether this Picket 3 is reliable long term, I have absolutely no idea because I've literally never used it before. This is, ge this is genuine. It's not really a review, it's just seeing whether the thing works or not. Um, and yeah, clearly it does work. But it, uh, all we've confirmed is whether it can program this particular chip. Uh, so I haven't yet tested it on a uh, PIC 16F84A and I haven't uh, used it on any other microcontrollers either. So yeah, if you fancy buying one of these, if you're one of my students um, and you fancy uh, taking a risk, £12.65, yeah, it's probably a good deal. If you're going to use it for other microcontrollers, I don't know. And I don't know whether it's um, going to fail after the um, second or third time it's been used, but... Uh, I suspect it's actually all right, um, and certainly at the moment it seems fine, doesn't it? So let's uh, raise again. And let's program again. Okay, that's it. It works, doesn't it? All right, so I think that's a success. So, quite happy with that. In fact, I'm so happy with that. Let's just have another. Just in case you want to get this one. Um, they've sold 424 apparently. And uh, UMT Media. Okay, that's the seller. Uh, if you have a look, you'll see their feedback 
Uh, they've got quite a lot of negatives, haven't they? Quite a lot of negatives, but um, this particular thing I'm quite happy with. Let's see where they are. There you go. Alright, okay, that's the end of the video.